Wintry weather coming up as we move towards uh, tomorrow. We'll take a look here at our uh, winter weather alerts, our headlines that we have across southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa. Our future track alerts. We have a winter weather advisory for all areas in purple. That does include through Rochester into Preston. That winter weather advisory will go in place later on uh, into early Thursday morning, 3 a.m. lasting until uh, midnight Friday morning. Blizzard warning in place for some portions of central and north central Iowa it includes uh, Sarah Gordo County for Mason City. That will be in effect from 6 a.m. Thursday until 6 a.m. Friday. Now all areas, at least open areas, even in that winter weather advisory, will see the chance for blizzard like conditions uh, because of the threat for blowing and drifting snow with strong uh, north northwesterly winds. And behind this, still expecting the blast of cold Arctic air, wind chills anywhere from about 15 to 35 degrees below zero. That's this weekend, so a little one two punch here with this system dealing with the snowfall, the winds, almost a three a three round punch within the cold weather to follow behind it. System right now, the center of the low pressure will continue to move through uh, portions of Colorado, already starting to see some precipitation develop near Rapid City, near Bismarck, uh, North Dakota. That's the precipitation that we'll be watching here, eventually tracking to southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa. As we look at the system's in impacts here, tomorrow morning, temperatures actually warm overnight. So we're at about 33, 34 degrees by early Thursday morning. So we're talking about about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. That's when we have a chance for a little bit of a rain snow mix. We transition that over by 6, 7 o'clock. This snowfall will be likely specifically for Rochester. We get about 2 to 3 inches of snowfall. So the snowfall amounts not the main factor here with the system. It will be the quickly dropping temperatures. So any type of melting that we could potentially have overnight tonight with the rapid freeze then possible with those temperatures falling quickly. We're looking at slick road ways throughout the morning, not just with the snowfall, but also with the freezing uh, impact as well throughout the morning, early afternoon and evening. Then we deal with the blowing and drifting snow. We'll have blizzard like conditions, even ground blizzard like conditions, especially in rural communities through southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa with those wind gusts upwards of 35 to 40 miles per hour. So tracking the system out here by about midnight tonight, we might have some freezing drizzle, some very spotty drizzle possible. Light rain will also be possible by about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Eventually, we change that over to some snowfall. And keep an eye on the dark blue. That indicates pockets of moderate to heavy snowfall. As we move through the morning, most of the dark blue by about noon, well to the east of the Mississippi River. That's where the bulk of the snowfall accumulations will be at. Here locally, anywhere from about two to four inches of snow will be possible. We deal with light snow by the afternoon, but then we pull in that cold air. We drop temperatures down to around 12 degrees and we're pulling in uh, the strong north northwesterly winds by about eight, nine o'clock in the evening. So snowfall amounts area wide speaking from as we stretch from La Crosse all the way towards Albert Lee, Owatonna, we see anywhere from about two to five inches of snowfall. Rochester, I think we're right around two to three lighter accumulations west of Highway 52. So through Owatonna Dodge Center, Austin, Albert Lee, about one to three inches of snowfall expected. Then back behind the snow, we deal with the cold. So we're dropping temperatures down to around 10 for the high temperature on uh, Friday with those daytime wind chills at about 10 below. Daytime wind chills Saturday, Sunday and into Monday, anywhere from 15 to 20 degrees below zero with highs both Sunday and Monday potentially staying below zero. Outside currently, we're at 26 degrees. Some clear skies, winds out of the southeast are breezy now. Temperatures warm overnight tonight, so we actually jump to around 30 uh, for those lows as we move towards tomorrow morning. Chance for a rain snow mix tomorrow 33 for the high. We hit that in the morning. Temperatures drop two to three inches of snowfall will be possible for the Med City. Seven day forecast 10 then for the high on Friday this weekend. Cold temperatures and single digit highs remain in the next week. Mark up next.